Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Where today, we're going through the basement of the mansion at South Figaro, where they have wild dogs running around for no apparent reason. Now, these guys will escape if you don't kill them quickly enough. So, Locke can do it, Celis cannot. Oh well. If only there were an item that would increase the power of her magic spells. But I don't have it. And here we get a piece of iron armor. So let's equip that on Salus there. Eh, it's better. It decreases her speed a little bit, but pfft, who cares? She, oh, equip it on her. I actually do care about equipping it, though. Keep an eye on Locke's HP, because he's in the front row there. So let's go up here. Get those chests to the right. Oh, so that's why there's dogs running around here. They, uh, work for the commanders, I guess. So, gotta take them out. I like basement areas. I don't know why. It just kind of has that dank pit feel to it, you know? Kind of reminds me of a, a place where I used to go, uh, a comic shop, where, uh, where we used to play uh, Magic the Gathering a long time ago. And that was years ago, though. Let's see, we got a heavy shield, if you didn't have one for Salas, and a regal cutlass. A uh, little better sword for her, even though she's not really going to use it, but there you are. That's pretty nice. But yeah, this one comic shop I used to go to, it had this sort of secret entrance to a basement, kind of like this secret passage here. But yeah, it was kind of like, it kind of felt like a speakeasy. I mean, the owner of the comic shop always kept it open, but it had like a secret hatch to the basement. So it was kind of like a place where like people would used to drink booze back in the day when it was illegal. But it kind of felt like one of those places when poker was illegal, where you would used to go to play poker, so that way, you know, because well, back then gambling was illegal and stuff. And here's a hidden treasure. It contains a ribbon, protects from all status ailments. But yeah, I just like basements because they kind of have that feel to it. One of my favorite places to go was this one comic shop where they had pizza ovens there. And the guy sold frozen pizzas there for us to eat when uh, when we went there. And he made a fortune off of it from what I heard. Alright, we got some earrings. One of my favorite relics in the whole game. It increases the damage from your magic by 25%. I mean, that's like the, uh, the sunshades in Chrono Trigger at the beginning of the game. It's ridiculous. I mean, there's a reason why they totally nerfed it in Final Fantasy VII, but we're going to be giving that to Salas. She should be able to kill those uh, uh, Vector Pups now. Yeah, she can kill those Vector Pups with an ice spell. Oh, by the way, yeah, that secret passage down there doesn't quite work. Oh, well. Let's get out of here. Oh, all right, Locke. You remind me of your mom. Oh! No, no. We'll find out later. Don't worry. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> he doesn't even recognize us. Okay, let's get out of the town. Just make sure you can take care of yourself, Locke. Silas doesn't need another corpse on her hands. How are we doing? Um, yeah, we're doing okay on MP. That's fine. We want to make it to Narsh, so let's head to the left. I wonder what would happen if we went to the Returner's hideout. Well, we're not going to find out today, folks. Whoa, what's that noise? Eh, must have been my imagination. Now, at this point in the game, these chests contain something better. Okay, this one's okay to get, because it won't become better later on in the game, so... We can get next potion, it restores all your HP. These guys do not restore all your HP. If you want to take out the Primordites with an ice spell, uh, she'd have a hard time taking out those gold bears uh, with her spell, so let's clear that one out of the way. There we go. Locke should be able to take them out. There we go. There's a couple battle formations with Primordites you might want to meet up with for a certain character later on. But I don't particularly care. It's a little abusive if you ask me. 
Let's see what those other two chests have now. See, I told you they'd have something better. This one contains a tincture. What did it have before? I don't know, but uh, it will still become something better later in the game. So let's hold off on that for now. Man, with those relics on him, Locke is a house here. Yeah, let's head on up here. And here's another new enemy, Trillabiter. Where have I heard that in, like, Dungeons and Dragons mythology or something? I thought I heard that somewhere before. I don't know. Eh. Oh, we can get poison here. Well, you know what? This is a good opportunity for me to uh, show you guys something. Let's do it. Now, remember those star pendants we got earlier? They, they're supposed to protect you from poison. But in this game, if you simply equip it and then remove it, you could do the same thing with the ribbon. It'll remove the status ailment just like an item could because it just prevents you from ever having it to begin with. So that's pretty nice. We don't need to have antidotes on us. This one contains a thunder rod. This is debatable whether you should get this now or save it for later. The item later is indeed better, but I would argue that this is better at this point in time. But you know what? I'm going to hold off for later just so I can show you later anyway. Only one more tunnel to go. Ah, yes, the healing pool. And that weird turtle. Okay, let's get healed up here and make our way to Narsh. Nothing but easy enemies from here. Better not be this, a tool chest falling down the stairs. Oh, okay, now, now it's a tunnel armor. You don't need to abbreviate in the text, Woolsey. What are you talking about, Salus? Okay. Well, let's find out. Runic. See what that does. You want Locke to steal an item from this guy. If he can. Some thief you are, Locke. Whoa. So that's what it does. It, it absorbs magic and turns it into, uh, I think MP, if I'm not mistaken. But whatever, it's negligible. It doesn't absorb drills, though. Now, I want to equip the air... Darn it. Equip air lantern. There you are. Now, just so you know, if you didn't notice uh, outside of battle, I was walking there because I removed most of my relics except for the uh, the Genji glove on lock because I won't need that. And I equipped uh, Salus with her um, old leather armor to save the iron armor for later as well. But yeah, every time the guy casts a spell, you have to uh, reestablish Runic again. Or if Salus takes another action besides that. So, but I mean, Salus can just stand there, and she can still use Runic and pass a turn to someone else. But now she needs to reestablish it, so just have Locke attack, and Salus stay on the defense. Runic gets a lot of bad rap, but I think it's an okay ability. Alright, got him. Screw you! Get it? Screw you, because there's drilling through the walls, you know, screwing. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Oh, we don't even have to walk to Narsh. All right, so now all we got to do is find a way for Seven to get back to Narsh. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.